Sue, I have a story for you that's closely related to this issue. Uh, the Unitarian Universalist Association of Congregations is accusing me of the crime of blasphemous libel for... Where? What do you mean, where? In which court? Here? Oh, they're accusing me. They haven't actually oh, okay. brought it to court. Well, then, yeah. they, they probably won't. Um, they're accusing me of blasphemous libel for making blog posts about a Unitarian Universalist minister who raped uh, teenage Tibetan refugees and also a Unitarian Universalist a lay person who uh, raped preteen girls. And were, uh, they actually, uh, were they actually found guilty? They were charged, found guilty, spent time in jail. Where? Uh, down in the Boston area. Uh, they were in the, uh, I can't remember the exact name of the institution, but they both ended up in the same jail. Mm -hmm. um, what's interesting is that the Unitarian Universalist Association, in their cease and desist demand letter, are describing these allegations as unfounded and vicious allegations mm -hmm. to the effect that ministers of the association engage in such despicable crimes as pedophilia and rape. In other words, the Unitarian Universal Association is lying through its teeth. Well, why don't you put the judgment up on your blog then? There is no judgment. This is a cease and desist letter. Why wouldn't there be a... No, <laughs> I'm talking about against the ministers. Uh, it's the being, fact that it, they were found guilty. It was on my blog. <laughs> the actual judgment? Well, I don't know if I have the actual judgment, well, but the newspaper reports and so on. What I'm getting at is, well, is your your religious community is a falsely accusing me of blasphemous libel in an attempt to get me to hide mm -hmm. these things. Mm -hmm. So I don't. I, I wouldn't be too proud of that if I was you. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't be too proud of what you do, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that. That was the. Uh, because that's justice reporter, so uh, who has uh, done some rather foolish things in the past, and so far has not uh, reported uh, on the justice issues involving the Unitarian Church in Montreal. Uh, on that note, we're going to wind this up. <clears throat>